What's up guys? Has anybody bought this? This I got at Harbor Freight. Uh, used a 10% off coupon, I guess, when they're running a sale. And it's the Viking 1000 peak amp uh, jump starter. Jump starter pack and power bank. So less than a year ago, I was at Walmart. My battery is dead. I have a video on it, but I ended up buying this thing. Brought it out from the package. Started it right up and it was working. And it worked for a little while, and uh, now it doesn't even register that it's alive. I can plug it in, nothing happens, nothing happens, nothing happens. And this started acting up. I think um, it would tell me that it wasn't set up right when I would hook it up to batteries. So anyway, I think the Walmart Everstart Max is a dud. I wouldn't recommend it unless you're in a pinch, and it saved me for a while. And it did work as a power bank. Uh, it does have the USB. And what's that? USB micro. Is that what that is? Micro USB to charge. Um, and then you plug this into there when you need to jump start. But yeah, it just died. So less than a year. Uh, I don't know. It was like 60 bucks. And then this one was like 80. I don't know. I have to find my receipt. But I think it was... Uh, 70 80 bucks so just wondering if anybody has this yet make some great claims lightweight and compact two usb outlets uh advanced error detection and auto shut off 30 engine jump starts on a single charge well let's hope this is better and lasts longer than a year i'm making this video so i can refer back to it Ooh. smart clamps wall charger Storage bag. Ooh, I think that came with a storage bag too. But what's it? What's the point if it doesn't work? Oh wow, cheaped out on us, Harbor Freight. Can't even see what's inside the box. What's the flap for? I feel like there should be a window there that we could see what's going on. Yeah, you can do all these things. Let's definitely hope. Oh, we have a flashlight, just like the old, the Walmart brand. All right. So how do we open this without destroying the box? Mid-size, lithium ion jump starter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Battery applications, 12 capacity. I don't know all the stuff. Peak amps, 1,000. Crank amps, 500. Fast charging. Cool, let's open it up. I think we have to actually break into it here. They don't want you just to go to open the box and not destroy it. They want you to make, make you feel bad for returning it if you ever have to. I did not get the extended warranty. Maybe I should have. Well, now I just made a mess. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna open this up and get back with you in a minute. What is even happening? Yeah. I think the flap is in the center here. Okay, let me open this up. All right, that's not the prettiest or easiest to get open. There's our hang tag. But here we go. Let's see, I think they should have been able to make a window so you can see what you're getting from the outside box. That's a nice presentation. Why did we not get that? Maybe, maybe it would have made me want to buy it. Okay. Now the other one, the Walmart one, to my surprise, actually came out of the box charged and I was able to use it right away. So that's what I needed at the time and it fired my van right off. So how long has this been sitting on the shelf and does it come in charged? Well, this is actually a larger box than this one actually a larger box okay okay well let's pull this out of the bag and see if we have a charge all right here we are opened up to important you must charge completely before first use and every three to six months or it voids the warranty how do they prove that i don't know here's our stuff here's our box stop important you must charge completely before first use every time Battery drops below 50% and every three to six months or cannot be returned. All right, well, I just want to see. 
it has some power to it. We're up to 75%. And this actually feels a lot better than the little clicky over here. Let's stop comparing that because the Everstart didn't hold up. So there we go. Well, we'll charge it completely. I guess we go on in the packaging here. There's our carrying case bag. Sweet. Here is a USB plug. There we go. Here's the actual charging or uh, jump start cables. And here's the connector to plug it in to charge it. And that's all we really need here. Um, what do we got? It's pretty rugged. I wouldn't want to drop it or throw it around. USB-C. Okay. So it has another USB-C cable to add to the collection. Cool. We use those all the time. All right. So what we'll do is plug it in and hopefully we uh, have a good report on this when we start using it. Hopefully we never have to use it, but you know, Harbor Freight for the win so far. It does have enough charge, and I think if I had to use it, it would work. Ah! Well, let's hope it's rugged. Cool. All right, guys, so let me know if you've had experience with the Viking midsize lithium-ion jump starter and battery and power bank. Guys, this has been Normal Guy getting by, and we're going to hopefully charge this up to full and uh, have a successful first jump start usually on motorcycles around the house, around the shop. But see you guys in the next one. Verified that I'm charging it. See you guys later.